Hello, I'm Brian Farrell, and welcome to Pace IT's session on troubleshooting security threats. Today we're going to talk about common symptoms of security threats, common security tools, and then remediation best practices. And with that, let's begin this session. So of course, we're going to begin this session by talking about common symptoms of security threats. There can be just a few symptoms or there can be multiples of symptoms that can all point towards a breach or a malware infestation. You may be experiencing uncontrolled pop-ups, browser redirection, even after you reset the home page. You may be getting security alerts from either your antivirus or from the Windows operating system. Unusually slow performance also points towards a malware infestation. You may be having internet connectivity issues because the malware is interfering with the node's connectivity. You might be experiencing unusual PC lockups. Things just freeze on you. That's another indication that you might want to investigate farther. Some malware tries to prevent Windows Update from working. This is an effort to continue to exploit a vulnerability. If you start getting messages from antivirus that you didn't know you had installed, then you probably have a rogue antivirus malware infestation. Spam is another indication that you have a problem. It can either be excessive receiving of spam, or it may manifest itself as you're sending spam. Malware often renames system files to make it harder to repair or restore the system. If you have files that are disappearing, that's another indication that there might be a malware problem. If your file permissions change, malware will often change the permissions in an effort to keep you from getting rid of it. If you can no longer get into your email, guess what? Your, your email has been hijacked by malware. Or if you start experiencing access denied error to areas of your PC that you could get into before. These all point towards malware being on your system. Now let's move on to common tools that are used in troubleshooting security threats. So your antivirus, anti-spyware, anti-malware software, that's all part of your first line of defense. It can be rolled into one package or application, or they can be separate applications. Your event viewer is a great tool to use when diagnosing security threats. Reviewing the logs can help you determine if there's been any unusual activity taking place and also help you to determine what the cause is. System restore. You can use this to roll a system back to a previous state, hopefully before the infestation. Your recovery console or recovery environment is another awesome tool that you can use. It gives you access to recovery and repair tools like safe mode and the CPROM. A pre-installation environment, a PE, is also a great way to diagnose and troubleshoot security issues. The pre-installment environment is used during the installation process and in some recovery processes. Using the pre-installation environment in conjunction with antivirus is often called offline scanning and it is highly effective in removing an infestation. Now let's move on to remediation best practices. The steps that you should take to recover a system that's been infected with malware. So here are the steps. The first step is to identify the symptoms. Be aware of how your system operates so that you can easily identify when a problem has occurred. Once you've identified the symptoms, quarantine the infected system. Remove the network cable and or shut down your wireless capability on that system. Don't allow it to spread any farther than it already has. At this point, you should disable your system restore. That way you're not creating a restore point that has the infestation. Now you can remediate the infected system, update your antivirus software, remove the infection, and get things running back to the way they should. Now you should reschedule your scans and your updates. Make sure that you're running scans on a regular basis and make sure that updates are enabled and active. 
Now you should re-enable your restore, your system restore, and create a new restore point. And then last, you should educate the end user. Anybody who uses that system needs to be re-educated in proper preventative methods. Now that concludes this session on troubleshooting security threats. We talked about common symptoms that indicate that a problem has occurred. We talked about some tools that you can use to diagnose and recover from a virus infection. And then we briefly discussed the remediation best practices. Now on behalf of Pace IT, thank you for watching this session, and I'm sure I'll do another one real soon.